Hello and welcome. My name is Anthony Harris and I'm an administrator for EarnestSuchSchools.com. In this instructional video, we will be looking into the dry stone demo for the RDK RX 62N using the High Performance Embedded Workshop. Before we get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is hook up the micro USB cable to the proper JLink module as seen. Now that everything is connected properly, it is possible for us to open up Hue and load the dry stone demo. To do this, open up High Performance Embedded Workshop. When it is open, select Create a New Project Workspace and hit OK. Next, make sure the CPU family is the RX family and that the project types is the YRDK RX 62N. The workspace name, you can name whatever you want. I will call this one Demo and then hit OK. Next, select Sample Code and hit Next. And make sure that dry stone is highlighted as shown and hit finish. Once all the files are loaded, change the default session to a J-Link, save it, and then connect the board. Make sure the MCU group is the RX62N group and the mode is in debugging mode and hit OK. Next, make sure the operating mode is in single chip mode and the input clock is 12 MHz and hit OK. Now that the board is properly connected, it is possible for you to open up the main.c file and then build it. Depending upon the version of demo software you're running, you may run into an error. To fix this error, go to Build, RX Standard Toolchain. In the link library tab, change the category to section, and in the third address, go to modify, and after C, add L asterisk, and hit OK, and OK, and then build it again. Since there were no errors with this build, it's asking if you'd like to load it to the board. Go ahead and click yes. And now that the program has been loaded to the board, to start it on the board, reset the CPU, and then press go. With the program properly loaded to the board, it is possible to notice that the red LEDs stay lit while the dry stone demo runs and turns green once completed. For this particular test, the dry stone demo took 3.5 seconds to run. And this is how you use the High Performance Embedded Workshop to properly implement the dry stone demo. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit us at renaissancerules.com and be sure to check out these other great links.